Thomas, I've got a question. One of my uh, personal favorite uh, research groups out there, obviously besides you, is the uh, Bluff Creek Project. What can you tell me about your opinion about the, uh, the work that the Bluff Creek Project is doing? The work with the Bluff Creek Project has just been fantastic. It was well believed for the longest time, I believe I didn't share, that most of the, uh, the landmarks that you see in the Patterson Gimlin footage, the big tree, the smiley stump, the log, etc., 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 were all gone, long gone. But the Bluff Creek Project went out there, found the film site again, measured everything, and basically proved that almost all the landmarks at the film site that you see in frame 352 of the Parish and Gimlin footage and all the rest of the footage, they're all still there. They're just buried in new trees. Mm. It was started by basically by a, uh, a fellow I know in Northern California named Stephen Stuford, who runs Bigfoot Books out of Willow Creek. I believe he started it, or got, was one of the original members. I call him Angel Eyes. And uh, they've done great work, and there still are. And one of the, uh, the processes that that group uses is they always have trail cams mm -hmm. out in the field, and they do move them around. And uh, I do know that uh, one of the things they've done, and I uh, forgive me for forgetting the exact name, but they did uh, find what was thought to be an extinct uh, species of marten. Yep. in the area where they were the first ones, and I believe it was 70 years, but I might be wrong on that, that got a picture. Do you have any other stories about some of the things the group has done that has not only proven a value to uh, Sasquatch research, but wildlife research as a whole? Absolutely. Other than the, uh, the marten that was thought to have been extinct in that area for the longest time, they've gotten video footage of almost every animal you can think of bears, bobcats, cougars, black black bears. Haven't got a grizzly yet, but I guess they're still open. And of course they haven't gotten a film of the Sasquatch. So I guess one can almost say they've done, they're doing great research for the skeptical community out there. Well, again, that's, you know, as you said, stick to the facts, never deviate from the facts. That's right. And, uh, you know, if your research shows the negative or shows that something does isn't in that area doesn't appear to be in that area that is still valuable research absolutely because a researcher has to be able to admit that in the end he may turn out to be wrong it may be entirely possible even though i don't believe it yet that the sasquatch may turn out to be nothing more than a great piece of north american folklore and mythology i don't believe that yet but it's possible most of the people you see, especially on YouTube and the internet nowadays, who call themselves researchers, they're more like religious leaders pushing a faith. They're not really researchers at all. They're like religious leaders pushing a faith. They think it's their job to prove it to everybody that the Sasquatch exists. No, you're investigating a mystery. That means you're trying to find an answer one way or the other. Okay, thank you, Thomas.